there is nothing like waking up in the morning, opening your social media and you find some burnt Muslim babies and Jews just laughing about it and making TikTok. Nothing starts the day like that, you know. You should try it sometimes. These past few months have been very, very enlightening for the public. For me, it, yeah, it has been very enlightening. Elon Musk has proven not just to be a hypocrite but a coward as well. Finally, pressing the pro-Palestinian voice while the genocidal maniacs make TikToks and call for, well, genocide of the Palestinians. While those anti-Semitic monsters like Lucas Cage can, should be very justly so, barred from X because of a fire extinguisher emoji. Go f*** yourself, Elon. And the less we talk about other media platforms, the better, especially not Facebook. No one talks about Facebook. Another enlightening fact is finally the curtains have dropped and the reality of American democracy has been unveiled. The American flag has never looked bluer than ever and whiter than ever and the stars have all faded away. Except for one, I hope the Western public is happy to realize that all of their tax money are funding these genocidal maniacs. One thing that was very very enlightening for me was there's no such thing as freedom of speech it has been you know on the tongues of every moron out there that uh, and especially muslims were stigmatized for that islam suppresses free speech and people have some unending urge to disrespect islam just to touch on this topic very slightly it deserves its whole video for that you'll have to subscribe you know and like to, you know, spread this video. Freedom of speech doesn't exist. You hold on to an ideology, you adopt a dogma, even this freedom of speech nonsense, you're going to protect it from, you know, concepts that impede freedom of speech. You're not allowed to speak everything. You develop new language, you know, like hate speech. What pro-Palestinians are doing right now is hate speech against uh, Zionists. Anti-Zionism is equivalent to anti-Semitism. You see what I mean? There is no free speech. You're not allowed to talk things that are disagreeable to the system, to the general public. You're not allowed. And God forbid you talk about the sodomites and Jews. Eh? God forbid. Right now, those who are advocating for Israel and Zionists are on the side of the Nazis and are on the side of the colonial America, the British Empire, all those who caused mass starvation, genocides and displacements caused millions of deaths and mass rapes and you're letting this happen to the Palestinians as well now right in front of your eyes democracy is a sham you know this is this was the most enlightening thing I never was fond of democracy it was garbage I always knew it was a hoax and it has been proven to be as such it was never free it was never a people's republic was it was it really you can protest all day you like they're going to massacre my brothers they are not going to listen to you, man. They are not going to listen to you, to me, to you. People were never rulers. This was discussed by Plato as well. Democracy would have always led to despotism, to this technocratic totalitarian system where the oligarchs and the bureaucrats rule over peasants like you and me. Comment your grievances about this. Yeah, many, many enlightening things in these past few months. I'll recount them in separate videos for each subject individually. You'll have to visit the channel for that. Subscribe, subscribe.